Every day we get prayer requests for organization. And lately this has been on an upswing. I suppose that people are beginning to do spring cleaning. As one woman said, I'm doing my spring cleaning in June and July because I couldn't face it. I put it off. And I need organization. I need divine order in that. Well, let's pray for that today, and let's talk about that. Order means light and peace. It means inward liberty and free command over oneself. Order is power. In 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 7, the Bible says this, God hasn't invited us into a disorderly, unkept life, but into something holy and beautiful, as beautiful on the inside as the outside. If there is a secret to effective work, it may be organization. It's something that I pride myself on, but it's not something that I got as a God-given gift. It's something that I had to work on and work on and work on. And now it's gotten fairly good. I teach all the time that too much clutter can lead to ineffectiveness. And the more disorder in your life, the greater difficulty you will have in establishing your goals. But when you introduce order into your daily affairs, you begin to reap surprising dividends. No one can organize your life but you. It's up to you to invest the time and the energy required to arrange your workplace and your home in an orderly fashion. So, do your spring cleaning early summer. Clean out that closet. Clear off that desk. Handle a piece of paper just one time and be done with it. Keep an accurate daily calendar and keep your appointments. Spending a little time each day organizing your tasks is well worth the effort, my friend. Disorganization, it invites frustration, but good order is good for the soul. Let me pray with you about organizing your life. Also, on Prayer America, beginning Tuesday, we're going to have an expanded prayer on this. Let us pray. I pray this weekend that you are empowered by God, you're motivated by God, you're excited to do the organization that needs to be done in your life. You will invest the time, you'll give the time that you need to do something. You'll put everything in its place, guided by God. You'll know what to do and you'll do it. I pray for this for you. In Jesus' name, amen.